A uniform surface charge density of 5 nanocoulombs per meter squared is present in the region from uh, y is 2 to y is negative 2. And we want to know E at some point, PA and PB. So you have your uh, electric field equation. That's what we'll start with. Taking the um, this form for some unit vector. Oops, getting a little crooked here. Um, so we have our surface charge density of five nanocoulombs per meter squared. We need to find these vector components, which shouldn't be too hard to find because we have a point here and we have the uh, points all along the surface. So let's get finding that. So the vector PA, um, what did I call it on here? Um, yeah, I'll call it P, I'll call it vector PA like this. Um, well, no, we'll call this, we'll call this S. Let's, let's call this S. So S is of the points, um, it's always on the X equals zero. So it's, so it's zero for X. Um, the Y is varying, as you can see. And the Z also varies. So that's our points for S. PA is right there. Shred it again. Three. So then the vector is equal to um, the difference of these two. So I'll take PA minus S is equal to three minus zero is three. Um, zero minus Y is negative Y. Zero minus Z, negative Z. Okay, so now we just plug in these vectors to this equation here. Equals. Um, four pi epsilon naught. This can this can become a cubed, right? So. Um, a x. Um, I'll do it like this. Let me write the minus y a y. And notice we have variables in this problem, which is kind of not a good thing. It means we're going to have to do some more work. And then up here, we just have one of those. So that would be 3x minus y a y minus z a z. Okay, so since we have these variables here, that's a good telling sign that we're gonna have to integrate. And also, you can you can see because we're gonna have to integrate um, from y is two to negative two to get this width here, and then z goes from all the way down to negative infinity all the way up to positive infinity. So we need to uh, integrate z as well. So we're going to have something that looks like this. Uh, double integral. And now I just I just took this outside, but I still have these. 3x minus y a y minus z a z. That's all over. Um, I'll evaluate the... Um, the absolute value because the absolute value is just um, you know some components squared or this would usually be C but you know what I mean it's, it's just you square each of the components so it looks something like this 3 squared plus <laughs> oh, excuse me x plus y squared a y um, plus z squared az and don't get tripped up that I'm getting rid of these negatives it's just that they're being uh, squared so now that'd be, it'd be a plus sign and this is all to the three halves because this is cubed but then you have that square root there so a cube and a square root is just a uh, three halves and then this is um, 
our y integration and z integration, so we'll have negative 2 to 2 dy, and then we'll have negative infinity to infinity dz. So the last thing I want to do is realize that since z, since z is going from infinity to infinity, and our point is over here, we know we're not going to have any uh, component of z because all of them are going to cancel out with each other, right? All the uh, vertical components of that, like this is the z-axis, all the vertical components of it are going to cancel. And the same thing is true for y because y, even though it's not infinite, um, you can see that your, your point's right in the middle of this uh, line. So all those points are going to cancel. So you have no z and you have no y. So these these components here are pretty much not even um, necessary because you know they're going to result in zero. So you can just get rid of them, and then you will end up with um, let's put three out there. you just end up with this and then once you evaluate the integral I'm not gonna evaluate the integral because it's it's a pain dude it looks it looks pretty gnarly but once you uh, finish it you end up with 106 volts per meter because now all you, there's no more physics involved really it's just a it just be a really tedious kind of integration um, so let's move on to the next one. Man, all these freaking colors suck, dude. All right, I'll use green. There you go. So now we have 0 0.030. Zero. So this is pretty much the same problem. Whoops. Whoa. Come on. It's pretty much the same problem. Just uh, you still have your this equation that you use and now um, when you do the s is 0 y z when you find this vector you're gonna get maybe s is equal to Three minus um, three minus y and then z. So you can see you kind of have the same uh, situation going on, really similar. And this is also this is the same thing. You just say three minus y a y plus z a z. And then by symmetry again, you could say, all right, well, my point's over here. Um, I'm going to have some component of y for sure. Will I have a component of z? No, because the same reason over here, it's infinitely long and you're not going to have any z. Um, will I have a component of x? No, because all of, your, all of your charges are on the same line of y that there's no way they're going to give you any component that's going out this way. Does that make sense? Look at the, if you look at this point here, it's all in line with the charges. So there's no way you're going to get a uh, x component there. So again, you're going to set up something like this. Um, I'll take this. Three minus y a y plus z. Cube that. And same thing. So I have those values. And then when I go to, uh, no, I don't even have an X anyway. But when I go to do 
my integration, I know that this z value is, is null. So I'm left with e is equal to rho s 4 pi epsilon naught 3 minus y a y. And um, remember, this z has to, this c down here has to stay because you can't just um, get rid of that part. Um, actually, let me square these. Okay, you could square these. Let me do the three halves now. Um, but then these would be just not absolute values. Look like that. And then again, you would do your uh, you would do your integration from there, and then you'd end up with 145 volts per meter. The big takeaway of this problem, though, is to look at the uh, one. The, the integration is a bitch, dude. I don't know why they make you do such an annoying integration. But you look at the problems and you see, okay, where am I going to lose components? Where, like, where am I not going to have um, components of x, components of y, components of z? And that, you know, once you're able to eliminate some of them, it takes the, it takes the burden off your uh, work. So there you go, peace.